Oh, well, you guys, welcome to this episode of the Appalachian History Detectives. I'm on site. And I found the Sloanacre Cemetery. And I'm here with Mr. Michael Lee. And we have been walking literally for a mile or two. And we are now coming up on it. We have absolutely been walking through the forest, searching for this place. And man, it is in the middle of absolute nowhere. Look at this thing. It's going to be one of these unmarked graves. Boy, I tell you. Look how old, rusty this is. All right, Michael, I don't know from the last time anyone has been here before. Look at that, that's a shame. David Slanaker, look, there's a grave here, one here. Let's just step across, we don't want to be disrespectful. David Slonaker, Margaret, his wife. And we're told that this is the Powell Slonaker Cemetery and that Chris Slonaker and his wife are buried here. And there may or may not be a headstone. There are some headstones here that are unmarked. 18, I don't know what the date is. 72 is when he died. 1846. Can you see it where it says date of birth up yeah. above there? Uh, 16, 1816. The whole family's here. Like there's there's a there's an unmarked grave here. There's just a stone here. These are just absolute stones. There's a stone there. Well, someone has kept this clean. Yep. John Slonaker. Oh, here's Slonaker. 1880. May Slonaker, 1823, Margie, Annie. I'm going to pause the video right here to share a sad story about Annie. According to the Hampshire Review, July 11, 1894, Mr. Henry Hawkins and his family were on their way to church when their horses became frightened and ran off and threw the family out of the buggy, killing young Annie, who was only 17 at the time. Mr. Hawkins died a short time later from injuries he received. It also says a young boy, Robert Shanholtz, was with them and his recovery is doubtful. I do not know if he ever recovered. Here lies Annie and her father Henry together. We're about ready to give up, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder how many's buried here. We had to mark it on GPS and put it on find a grave. All right, you guys, I'll be I'll be getting back with you. Um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this series, the Slowniker series. We have yet to find Christopher Slowniker's actual pioneer residence, but we know that it's in this area because uh, the, the records state that it's near here and um, this farm is known as the old Sloan Acre Farm. We know that. It's just so thick in here. Right on this ridge, you know, you wonder if this cemetery here was like in the middle of the farm at one time or of a community. And uh, right there is the old Pioneer Road. You can see it, remnants of it. Of course, that's not the road we came up. But that's it. I would say along that road there, you're going to find an old homestead. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do is, uh, this cemetery is not on find a grave, and there's actually no marker for it on the map. And so what we plan on doing, what Michael plans on doing, is uh, we've geotagged this, and uh, we're gonna enter this cemetery on find a grave, so at least there's record of it. Yep. And, uh, and that way, if someone else wants to come up here, of course, we're not encouraging people just to lollygag up here, but there is access up here. All right, one final look. Nice, restful, peaceful. The old road went right down through here. Yeah, that's a wall. That looks like a wall right there. Like a stone wall right here. I mean, all the homestead in here somewhere. The wall traveled deer path. Could be right there where all them barberry bushes are. You never know it. How you has got that one, huh? Wow, look at the deadfall. His uh, iron forge is going to be in here somewhere, right? It's going to be down to the left, right next to the river where it bends. Oh, we got to be really close to that. It's within probably almost like a half mile. Here's another.
Oh, what a kind of creepy place, isn't it? Oh, this has been cleared. deer right there. Boy, I tell you what. Can you imagine trying to clear this with a team of horses? The stumps, the rocks. There's a little pile right there. That could be Indian right here. That could be Indian. It's like an old road going up through there. Hey, <laughs> ain't getting through that. Maybe right through there. All right, you guys. We finally come up on the river. There it is. We're on the... Right along here is where his homestead. Somewhere. Good. Boy, look how steep that is. You see his iron furnace is down in here somewhere. Forge. Blacksmith forge. Down in here somewhere. The old, uh, I wonder if the crossing was right here. The old Ford. Take a look. Boy, I tell you what, that's, that's a sheer, that's sheer right there. Michael and, Michael and I, we think that the old Ford was in here somewhere that crossed the river and uh, the old French and Indian Fort's not that far, but maybe a mile from where we are. The Indians probably took his trail right here to the fort. Boy. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a rock cliff straight down. Look at that. Look at that. Well, 